What Earth will look like in 250 million years? The tectonic plates of the Earth are constantly moving. These movements slowly drift continents across the globe. This results in the creation of supercontinents. There have been three major supercontinents. There were Pangaea, Rodinia, and Columbia. Columbia formed about 1.5 billion years ago. Rodinia formed roughly a billion years ago. It broke apart around 750 million years ago. Pangaea was the last supercontinent. It split up roughly 200 million years ago. In 250 million years, there will be another supercontinent. There are four possible ways the new continent will form. One of them is Novo Pangaea. The continents will drift towards the Pacific ocean. They'll eventually close the ocean entirely. In the second scenario, there will be Orica. India will become the centerpiece of a vast landmass. It will bring surrounding continents together. The third option is Amasia. North America and Asia will merge at the North Pole. They'll form a unique Arctic supercontinent. The most likely outcome is called Pangaea Proxima. The Americas will be attached to Africa in the north. They will connect with Antarctica in the south. The Atlantic Ocean will close. Africa will be slammed into Europe and the Middle East. Australia will be welded to Asia's east. Regions like Scotland and New Zealand might remain isolated. The supercontinent will be centered around the Indian Ocean. It will be enveloped by a vast global ocean. New mountains will arise where the continents will collide. The world's new high point will no longer be in the Himalayas. It will be in the mountains between North America and Africa. The formation of a supercontinent can alter the climate. It may potentially lead to extreme weather events. Today, mammals can inhabit 66% of the Earth's surface. On Pangaea Proxima, 92% of the land may be uninhabitable. As the continents merge, volcanic activity will soar. Carbon dioxide will be released into the atmosphere. The aging sun will shine 2.5% brighter than it does today. This will increase solar radiation. The planet could heat up to 122 degrees Fahrenheit in many places. Daily extremes might be even higher. Coastal areas would have the most livable climate. Deserts will stretch across the heart of the continent. The area will be unsuitable for most mammals. Cold-blooded reptiles could become the dominant creatures. Much of the land will be flat and far from the ocean. There will be a lack of moisture in the air. It will reduce the removal of CO2 from the atmosphere. A mass extinction will affect all forms of life. Certain factors might make the continent more habitable. The climate might be cooler if it forms near a pole. The amount of heat escaping from the Earth might decrease, so there could be fewer volcanic eruptions.